Women's Month means that women creatives in Belize have a chance to showcase their art to the public. The Women in Art exhibit is held every March, and every year, well-known as well as emerging artists participate. This year, there are fashion designers, painters, poets, and a lot more. The director of the Institute of Creative Arts gave us a sneak peek. Well, we have um, well over 30 women artists from across the country um, showcasing art in um, different types of art. We have handicraft, um, we have some new types of, we have, for example, we, I saw one of the, the ostrich feathers and the ostrich eggs um, being converted into art by Nancy Marin um, in the showcase out there. We have photography, we have um, painting, we have sculpting, um, fashion design. It's, it really is a mix. And we also had a series of youth workshops happening across the country and we have I think over 50 submissions as well um, that will be a special section of the exhibit as well this year. And that's the beauty of Women in Art is that it's meant to be an inclusive exhibit where both uh, professional and women who have been doing art for a number of years showcase their art beside somebody that is very young and may never have participated in an, in an exhibit before. And while these women are dedicated to their craft, they, like most others, must balance their everyday lives with their art. But they explained why it's important for female artists to get the spotlight. It's called All On My Own, and um, I actually centered it around um, single mom struggles. I realized that um, even though people may have partners, a lot of the times um, the woman is the primary um, caregiver in the household. So I realized that a lot of moms really do raise their kids on their own and they do everything from the morning preparation for school, the lunchtime, the cleaning, and even the, the mentoring and everything that goes into parenting a child. Like the mom really is the one who tends to you know, um, take up the main role in the household when it comes to raising children. I think it's important because um, it gives other girls, um, you know, it really gives them that motivation to want to put their art out there for everyone else to see. Chances are someone may see this and relate to it, or someone may see it and think, you know, um, I could feel the same and I can relate and I, you know, I have endured or I've seen my mom go through the same thing. So for me, it's, I guess it's inspirational for some, but for me, I look at it and I think of like all the different stories that I've heard from all the different women in my family. Definitely excited every year away that is the second time come for this, this event. So definitely excited because for, for the, the artists, designers, or photographers, no? And painting design is, is amazing because it's for prepare products, no, your, your talent for the people who watch the Belizean talent. So for me, it's amazing. The second year is it here, the invitations. I like girls, the clothing for little girls because it's the cute designs, no, it's more for creative. For designers, it's more creative mind and ideas. So for that, I decide for that area. And I expert in different areas, but Personal, the side foot kit area. Whatever I create, I always try to have Belize in mind. So if you really look at it, you will see that the comb, well, they're all about beauty. But if you really look at it, you will see that one of them have a mango in it. One have the black orchid. And the third one was supposed to be a uh, blue merfo. So I want all of them to represent beauty. And as women, we like to care for ourselves, we like putting on lipsticks, we like combing our hair and stuff like that. I like the concept of displaying my art because I believe whenever you create art, you have to create something for people to see and people to digest and people to ingest. And then I also want to have other young ladies say, okay, well, this is a nurse and she's also someone that draws and paints in her free time. The exhibit is free of cost and will be held at the Bliss tomorrow night. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.